Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Is capital gains taxable income? Capital gains arise from the sale of assets like stocks, bonds, real estate, or valuable personal items. When you sell an asset for more than you paid for it, you realize a capital gain. Capital gains are categorized as short-term or long-term. Short-term capital gains apply to assets held for one year or less. Long-term capital gains apply to assets held for more than one year. The classification affects the tax rate applied to the gain. Short-term capital gains are taxed as ordinary income. This means they are subject to the same tax rates as wages or salaries. Long-term capital gains, however, benefit from lower tax rates. These rates are generally lower than ordinary income tax rates. The specific rate depends on your taxable income and filing status. The Internal Revenue Service, IRS, provides detailed guidelines on capital gains taxation. Certain exemptions and exclusions may apply, such as the primary residence exclusion. This exclusion allows homeowners to exclude a portion of the gain from the sale of their primary residence. Specific rules and limits govern these exclusions. Understanding these distinctions is crucial for accurate tax reporting. Failure to report capital gains can result in penalties and interest. Always consult the IRS or a tax professional for personalized advice. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.